My friend Felicia does not get my job. The other day she tells me, being an interior decorator must be so fun. You spend other people's money just to make what you want. I'm like, um, sure. It's not easy making dreams come true, girl. So this video is to help Felicia and anyone else out there learn what it takes to get in on the interior decorator game. As a decorator, a passion for a design is a must, but it really comes down to the people you're designing for. In a way, you're more like a therapist. You listen to their needs and ideas and then gently guide them to a solution. Example, I'm on a gig. Bedroom remodel for Bob and Eliza, BT dubs. Great couple, super healthy relationship. Anyway, I'm doing my thing, asking my questions. What's your favorite decor? Inspirations, colors, just gobbling it all up. Yum, yum, yum. So they have a toddler, Iggy, cute as a button. And Eliza has this grand master design idea of joining their room with the nursery by a way of a fabulous, her words, not mine, new walk-in closet. Okay, fun, kinda dig it. But a little helicopter parody, don't you think? What happens when tiny toddler Iggy turns into a hormonal teenager Iggy? Teenagers are an emotional roller coaster. You're not gonna want that walking through your bedroom. Anyway, stuff like that happens all the time. Not to mention the designs clients have done themselves that I'm there to fix. Bedrooms full of bunk beds, pools in the kitchen, countless spaces of people not thinking beyond the function. But that's where I come in. After I got the deeds on what the client wants, it's just me and the space. A moment to take it all in and feel what it gives back. And then I get to work. Of course, I wanna make the client happy, make their spaces better than their dreams. But to do that, sometimes I gotta go over budget. It may affect my reputation, but they'll probably thank me later. Besides, I've got a secret weapon. Once they see the magic I've made, they're not thinking about budget, and the look on their faces and their eyes. You've changed their lives. It's personal. We love me. That moment, it, well, it reminds me of my parents. Hardworking people just trying to make it work. And my mom, she was determined to make that little apartment her own. It had charm, love. It was our home. So when I see my clients, I really see someone trying to make their dreams come true. And no matter how ridiculous those dreams may be, I get to make them real. Maybe you can do that too.